The frame generator is used to create internal and external frame assemblies. Frame generator is available in the assembly and weldment environments. To create a frame, you start with an assembly and then either create or place a skeleton part. This is a component with reference information for the frame structure on which the frame members are inserted. In this exercise, you will be inserting, reusing, and finally, tweaking individual frame members for correct alignment. Begin by inserting a frame member. On the ribbon, Design tab, Frame Panel, select the Insert command, and the Insert dialog box opens. In the Frame Member Selection Group box, select ANSI as the standard. For the Family Selection, choose ANSI L equal Angles, Angle Steel. In the Size drop-down, choose L3 by 3 by 3 sixteenths. Choose mild steel as the material and leave the appearance drop down as is. In the orientation group box, change the orientation to lower left if need be, then select one of the lines that represent one of the legs of the skeletal table frame in the window. If your preview doesn't have the legs of the L channel facing inwards, use the rotate and or mirror commands to orient it correctly before continuing. When your preview looks like the one here, click OK. You are presented with a Create New Frame dialog box. Click OK to that as well as to the next one, the Frame Member Naming dialog box. You will now have one leg member in the model. All you need now is to create the other three instances. Begin by selecting the Reuse command, which is also located on the frame panel. The Source Member button is active, so select one of the legs in the window as the source. The Select Edge button is now active, so you need to specify the skeletal lines where the leg frame member will be reused. Select the three lines that have no frame member, then click OK. Some or all of the members will have the incorrect orientation and will need realignment. In the browser, expand the frame member group which is denoted by a parent-child frame member icon. Hover your cursor over the individual members until one highlights that needs adjustment. Right-click that member and choose Edit with Frame Generator. The Change Reuse dialog box appears. Use the Rotation Angle Adjustments flyout to choose the correct angle. When the angle is correct, click OK. Select the Change Reuse command on the frame panel. The same Change Reuse dialog box opens. Change any remaining members that need reorientation. The ability to reuse frame members and to modify those reused members once created will go a long way towards simplifying the creation of accurate BOMs and enhance your ability to accurately communicate your design intent to manufacturing.